kind of cold, but I'm here in the mountains. You guys saw the previous episode we got here, and now we're actually here. This episode is sponsored by DJI. Thank you for sponsoring this video. In this video, I'm basically going to be showing you kind of my home away from home. I know I live on the boat and I do all that, but this is where I'm at the other half of the time. With all that being said, I have a special guest. Come on. <laughs> this is Mackenzie. Now, I know you guys don't know who this is. I will touch on it a little more later, but she's a very special friend. <laughs> I hope you enjoy this episode. I've been waiting a couple days to get this right. Me and her tried this like two days ago, I think. <laughs> yeah. It was too windy. Yeah, I think that's pretty good. Yeah. All right, let's rock with that. <laughs> okay. I think that's good. This snow is so packed down right now. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention we took a road trip to Washington to look at vans for Finn. Here's how that went. Oh no! Hi! <laughs> Wait, it's doing it? Yeah. You're actually doing it. I don't mind being on camera, do you? Oh. Well, that's awesome. I looked at this van. I drove, we drove it around. Um, I can't drive it, but Colin just made me a great offer, and I am now an owner of a van again. Yeah, congratulations. Awesome. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> yes, sir. All right. I gotta give him the money. Yeah. Dude. Dude. This is it. You're the man. I'm the man. What's up? This is an 86? 88. 88. What? 88. No. Wow. You're joking. What do you think, Jake? My brother just purchased... I just don't want to crash it on the way back. <laughs> My brother just purchased his very first car. So that feels strange. Look, Dude, at I can't believe you just bought a whole van. Isn't that cool? <clears throat> That's what you need next. That's what Luke Bosworth would look like <laughs> if he had a billion dollars. Dude, I just bought a... You just... Bro, van again owner. Happy for you, man. Yeah. Mm -hmm. oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. 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 All right. Mm -hmm. Tell me to become a hippie. I'm a hippie. This is the. This is actually one of the least hippie versions I've seen of this van. And that concludes our Washington trip. We were going to go to Oregon, but that plan fell through because we found the van. Congratulations, Finn. I'm proud of you. Yo, Dude. how much do I pay for rent? I pay nothing for rent. Let's go snowboarding. Let's go. So guys, like I said, we're up here in Montana and it's already starting to get cold. Now, the Osmo Action 4, it can last up to negative four degrees Fahrenheit. And if I'm filming in that cold, I can film up to 150 minutes. That's, that's just crazy. Not to mention, it can do 4K 60 without shutting down or freezing. That's a blessing, I mean, I'm not gonna talk about my competitor here, but that is a step up. So I know you've been seeing me on the boat and all that, but it's time to change the pace a little bit. What are you doing? Bust the move. Bust the move. Let's start it up. Ooh. It looks good. And I just stepped inside real quick because the engines are kind of loud on the snowmobiles, but I wanted to say the usability of this thing is crazy because the mounting system, it's, it's kind of hard for me to reach this. And with my other camera, I had a lot of screws to deal with with this. Let's go like that. Make sure it's on there. And I'm good to go. Let's go. Enough dilly dally. It is a little chilly. It's a little bit. Sit just like this. Oh, sorry. Ah. There we go. You see what I mean? When I say there's a bit of a lack of snow out here, we're getting to the spot, the good spot. All right. 
Here we go. Oh, it's a little windy. Oh, it looks a little chilly. Yeah, like Thank you, bro. Yeah. I, oh, a little hard packed up here at the top, but that shouldn't be a problem. Oh my gosh. So this is what we call the top of the hill, top of the mountain. This is just right next to the house. Let's get a move on. Woo! It's so windy. Oh my gosh. Woo. Woo. Oh yeah. Oh. oh my gosh. I just took a tumble. One of the biggest struggles with being a video creator who does TikTok, Instagram, and YouTube makes movies. I'm always having to switch between horizontal and vertical footage, and it's such a pain. But with the Osmo Action 4, all I gotta do is turn it, mount it, and it's good to go. It's so easy. Hell yeah, dude. What the hell is that? So then tell me, you guys, how does it feel seeing me doing all this mountain stuff? Because for me, this just feels like my second life. I live on the boat half the time, I'm up here half the time. All right, we continue on. This is a good trail right here. Oh. Oh. Woo. Woo. The color temperature sensor in this camera means that I can get true to life color profiles, which look great. And I don't know about you, but I notice when colors don't pop in a video. This bad boy gets great image quality all day long. What did you do? The DJI Osmo Action 4 has proven to be a super reliable camera. I'm feeling the cold now and my other camera would usually die at this point. But this one is still up and going, no problem. I might have made a boo boo, but it's okay, we fixed it. So there's this one jump in between those trees. I'm scared to death to hit it. This does not feel good to land in. It really doesn't. Let's see how this goes. Terribly, I'd imagine. But, dude, it's so compact. Let's go for it. Bro, that was so scary. Oh. Oh. Call me Sean White. Call me Sean White. It's my middle name. All right. Got the tire. I know I did. I'm actually gonna need your help. Yeah? You uh -huh. need your dad's help? No, I need your help. We can go like this. I need you to hold it right there. There we go. There we go. We probably got some mugwits that'll fit you. There you go. There you go. That's gotta be good. Oh, I forget there's snow out here. On the boat, I'm used to setting my camera on the ground. Not having to worry about what's beneath it, but well, there's snow here. Tire's all done, should be good to go. God, this doesn't pack down. <laughs> he just threw it all over me. <laughs> oh my gosh. You come here, you come here. You know where we're going? We're going over here. No. We're going to the deep snow now. No, it is too late for you, honey. You ready? <laughs> no, no, it's a nice action. You stay right here. No. Uh huh. Snowball. This doesn't pack. Ah, oh, it's annoying me. This. 
Oh, that would have been good. Stand it up. <laughs> no, this isn't fair. <laughs> now we're both out. He threw it out of my face. Okay. Oh my gosh. The DJI Osmo Action 4 has easy color grading adaption with the DJI drone's footage. And lastly, the time code alignment makes it so that I can shoot with multiple different DJI handheld products and they're all time synchronized. Welcome to the Whitaker cabin. You have the living room, the kitchen, where we make all our food, my father, and then the semi living room as well, the upstairs. Mm -hmm. And then you can see our beautiful fireplace where we stay in the morning. Hi. She's there. Yeah. And then you come upstairs. This is me and Jack's quarters as of the moment. We kind of just moved in, so we don't want to. No, no, no. Just don't look at that. Don't look at that. Jack's bed, my bed, desk, all that good stuff. Here you have a bathroom to your left, and then you have Mackenzie's room, or known as the guest room, where we bring guests in. Nice little bunk bed, you know. It's not that cool. And then to our right, or technically left, we have the parents' room. Whoa, it's always very nice. clean, very neat and not homey. Come to my basement. Basement for the murders. This was originally the kids' room where me, Jack, Finn, and Anna all slept. But since we've gotten older, we've kind of moved out as the beds are getting too small or we're getting too big. Next on the tour is the movie room where we watch movies on our TV. We got a fireplace, we got a couch, and couch. bean bags! Bean bags. That was kind of loud. And then we have one of our favorite parts to this house is our hot tub! <sighs> it's resting at a casual 104 Fahrenheit. I hope you enjoyed that house tour, but now I know the moment you guys have all been wanting to see. So, this is Mackenzie, and a little bit of backstory about us is... You tell them. I don't want to do all the talking. <laughs> Well, I mean, do I start by like when we started talking on? No, like, way, like way, way, way beginning. back. Way in the beginning. Well, um, our sisters, they were friends when we were really mm -hmm. young. And when my sister would go hang out with his sister, my mom would be like, okay, McKenzie, you got to go with him. I, she would force me to go with him. I didn't want to, but I, I would. And when I would go over to their house, I would usually hang out with Finn Cake because they were more of my type because he... He was annoying. <laughs> the only memory that I have, well, I have memories of him being annoying, but the only, like, solid memory I have of him is him flipping me off, not with the middle finger, but with this finger in the driveway of their house. <laughs> and I told him, don't do that. And he was like, I can do whatever I want. We haven't really talked since then. Maybe, like, here and there I've commented on his story or he's commented mm -hmm. on mine, but it hasn't really been much. But I think... At the end of January of this year, he was posting about bears on his story. <laughs> and I came across this bear meme after I'd seen his story. And I'm like, huh, I wonder if I wonder if Jack would like to see this. And I've, I've never sent him anything before. I never, I don't even know why I thought about sending it to him, but I did. And I, I sent it to him and the post had like a TV girl song on it. And he commented, he's like, oh, I really like that song. And I said, oh, I really like that song too. And then we started talking about... <laughs> We just music, music for, and... for the longest time we talked about music and then we started catching up more and he called me at one point and... oh yeah because it was going well and i was like who, who was well, she what's she up to yeah i wanted to call and see what was going on mm -hmm. so i guess he was coming in he was coming into town surprisingly enough mm -hmm. in a couple of weeks at that point and he asked he asked me out i was like confused why he's asking me out because I'm like you're not going to be in Texas anytime soon like why are you asking me out and he told me that he was going to be there soon I was like oh <laughs> sure we can. yeah I would love mm -hmm. to go I, I was very excited and to set um, it straight I just wanted to catch up I wanted to have like yeah, lunch he, and just go see what was going on so we set I'm just kidding <laughs> I'm just kidding but yeah it, it was mainly that we weren't really expecting anything at mm -hmm. all and then I took you out and then we went out Every day after mm -hmm. while we were in Dallas. I know I didn't film that. Mm -hmm. Anyways, after that, our families hung out. It was a really great time. And I wasn't finished seeing you. I didn't want that to be the end of it. So I invited her up to Montana. Why did you say yes? <laughs> because I was curious to see how this was going to go. And 
he invited me, so of course I'm going to say yes. I had, I didn't really have any doubt in my mind or like fear or like, oh, this is going too fast. Like, what the heck is going on? I was just like, yes, I'll come. I'd, mm-hmm. I'd love to. And now I'm, I'm here. <laughs> You're here. And it's just been, it's been really fun. Anyways, she's here. And things are going really well. I don't know, like, exactly where it's going to go. But I'm having a good time. Me too. What about you? Yeah? I'm having a great time. Yeah. So that's great. Anyways, that's Mackenzie. Your face is, like, right in the shadow of my mic. So Anyways, the sun's out. That's it. Sun's out, gun's out, you know? Mm-hmm. <laughs> you, you should be seeing more of her in the episodes to come. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Mm-hmm. Mm. Give me a kiss. Mm.